Hello, I am Raffle Waffles, and I'm here to bring you a tutorial about nav and nav meshes. Uh, nav mesh is what allows you and the bots to move through the level. It allows zombies to spawn and allows them to move through the level. And it allows you to uh, transition between level and level. So without a nav, you actually cannot get from one map to the other. Uh, without further ado, I am going to show you the tutorial map I created. It took about, like, I don't know, 10 minutes at most. It's for the sake of this tutorial purely. So we have a little alleyway. There's an invisible infected ladder here that you cannot climb. There's another one here that you cannot climb. And there's another one here that you cannot climb. And then there's a survivor ladder here, which survivors and infected can climb. Takes you up to here. Over here, and this, for the intent of this tutorial, is the end of the level. So, quick overview. There is an area on top of the level intended for zombie spawns. They have little bridges across the level that allows them to run from side to side. And the ladder that takes them up to the top is right here. It allows zombies to climb up and down. Without further ado, let's start the nav process. Alright, the first step is to open the console using the tilde key. It is located below escape. Type nav underscore edit 1. Then type z underscore debug 1. It will give you a little crosshair here, which will follow your crosshair, except it will go to wherever it meets geometry. Or props, in some case. Sometimes it will not go to the prop, and sometimes it will. In the case of tables, it will. So, without a single nav being created yet, what you're going to do is you're going to open a console again, type nav underscore mark underscore walkable. It should create a purple triangle here. Ammo. With that created, I'm going to go over to here, and fly up here, and create another one here. I like to create several throughout a level, usually with major changes to terrain such as arrays like that. Although I have found that in general it will still generate even with just one triangle. So with and with all your triangles placed, all the ones that you want, open the console again, type nav underscore generate. Should create a little loading screen thing going on, and it will give you a black screen, then it will load you back into the level. Just give it a second. It can take it up to, uh, I would say, 10 minutes. One time it did take me 10 minutes, I had a really big level. And then it will say map is unplayable, you'll get squares everywhere, and your bots will generally move around as long as these squares are not broken. So, it has now created squares. You can see the ladders that have been made for the infected. Takes them up to there, takes them up to there, and you can see the survivor ladder. It's drawn at a weird angle. We'll go over that in a minute. You can climb up it. The survivors, mm, they might chicken around a little bit because of the way that is turned, but generally they will climb up it as well and follow you around. Yada yada yada. Zombies will not spawn, and your level will not finish yet. It's because you have to fix your level. The nav generation process is very simple, and it just gives you the basic framework from which you need to uh, Ammo. finish it yourself. So, you may notice they have not grabbed the guns or the kits. That is because the guns and the kits are not connected to the nav. You will notice that when I hover over this nav square and jump up on here, they do not follow, and it does not highlight any other nearby nav squares. Whereas if I hover over this one, you will see all the ones it is connected to. This means the flow here is broken. That means that this is not connected to anything else. You must open your console and manually connect it by typing nav underscore add selected to set. Add to selected set, I mean. And then you will select a nearby one. Guns here! And with two selected, you will type nav underscore connect. I misspelled that because I'm funny. Anyway, nav underscore connect. They are now connected. Do that as much as you want. You'll notice that now that I've done that, they will grab the stuff on the table. They may also jump on the table. That is up to them. They are bots and they are stupid. They equate to headless chickens. So with that connected, now they will grab the guns in the kit. So, they have the guns in the kit now. But there's still no zombies. Where the hell are my zombies? Well, first, you need to fix your ladders. When a ladder is broken, you need to hover over the ladder part, which is this glowy shit right here, which has a blue line and little crosshairs, you know. Hover over it, type nav underscore delete. That is deleted. The ladder no longer exists. Now go to uh, the console again, nav underscore build ladder. It will draw a new ladder. 
That was an example. This ladder was actually working fine. This ladder is also kind of working fine, but I'm still going to do the same thing. See, it kind of reconnected it there a little bit. Do the same thing here. And now to fix this ladder, which is broken as holy hell. You will notice that now it generates on the front. You always want it to generate on the side that you're supposed to climb. Like this side. Not this side. This side. If I were to point it at the side of the ladder and then type NIV underscore build ladder, it would try to build a ladder on the side. Don't do that. That's stupid. Put it on the front. You don't climb the side of a ladder, you climb the front of the ladder. Look at those bots go. You are magnificent. So, now the level is connected and they can make it to the end, but there is still no zombies. That is because your level is not properly marked. First, NIV underscore save. That will save your progress. Now, since we're at the end, let's just do the end real quick. Oh. Since this is, for all intents and purposes, the only map in the campaign, this will go from the beginning to the finale. So, we will do Mark. Finale. Mark. Rescue vehicle. Mark. Eh. Eh, what else would be good here? Battlefield. Battlefield 3 would be good here. Anyway. So that is now Finale, Battlefield, and Rescue Vehicle. That basically tells the survivors, the Finale is here, the Battle is here, and the Rescue Vehicle is here. So that's their end goal. Let's go back to the start. Since this is the start of the campaign, we will do Mark Player Start. If this was the second map, third map, fourth map, or any other map, it would the start of the map would be Mark Checkpoint. If it was any map that wasn't the finale, the ending point would be Mark Checkpoint. Both would be Mark Checkpoint. Every square in the starting safe room or ending safe room should be Checkpoint, Player Start, or Rescue Vehicle. And... So let's say you have a square that is like, eh, this square is too Ammo big, here. I want it to be a smaller square. Well, you just simply hover it so that that little white line there, you see that white line? You hover that set so lines up where you want the new square to be drawn. It can only be drawn in uh, square units, by the way, so you can't make weird little triangles and shit like that. So hover it like that, in the square you want. Then type mark, spell... <laughs> I was trying to mark it. NAB underscore split, not mark split. That is not a mark. So now the square has been cut, and it is now a part of the safe room, so we can mark it as player start. This ladder here kind of connects to a fat little square here, so let's uh, split that down a bit too. So that is split a bit. The blue arrow now goes in front of the ladder. Eh, it's a little bit better for the AI. Let's split that up there too. That is now split. Now goes directly in front of it. Good enough. Good enough. Hey, let's split that one. Now, um, general rule of thumb is it can crash if the survivors are standing in or trying to go to a square that you split. So before you split, when you have bots around, type NAV underscore save just in case it does crash. So that has now been split. Generally, you don't want two ladders to share the same square. That sometimes freaks out the AI. Um, and now that all the basic grunt work is done, type nav save again, and you will see that there is a, uh, the nav mesh needs a full nav analyze. That will tell you when you need to reanalyze your nav mesh. That's when it recomputes the flow and other things. It'll, uh, try to correct squares and marks and stuff like that. So you just type nav analyze, let it do its thing. Similar process as to nav generate, except it will mostly keep your changes. If you were to try to nav generate again, it would destroy your changes and completely do it fresh again. Never nav generate twice unless you want to restart your nav. So now that we have nav analyzed, there was no map is unplayable message. You guys saw that. There was no map is unplayable. That means zombies will spawn, and you can open console and type director underscore start. Whenever you nav analyze or nav generate, it will turn off the director. You, now, you can now see, according to these little circles, that there are zombies randomly placed through the level by the director. Ignore these random sounds, as these are sound mods I have that make them sound like different zombies. Those are regular common infected. So now when we leave the safe room, the director will have noticed we have left the safe room. And zombies will run at us, they'll attack us, and other shit like that. We 
can continue through the level. It will spawn special infected as designated by the arrows. Blue is hunter, for example. That one is a fucking hunter. I hate those. There's a spitter. So it's spawning random zombies for us. It's kind of like a wall hack, except you can only use it when using tools. They're spawning and running around up there. We gave them varying places to spawn because different special infected mm. like to spawn in different places. Common zombies will spawn everywhere because they're common zombies. They're basic. That one is laying down. You're stupid and now you're dead. If the map was bigger, it would we generate a tank and a witch for us, but the map is not big mm. enough for the director to do so. However, it will generate those automatically. Or, if you want to say force a tank or a witch, you could do mark threat. And then mark threat. Every time you mark a square as mark threat, then that becomes a valid place for it to spawn a witch or a tank. Don't overdo this because it will spawn a lot of witches. And you do not want a lot of witches. While it may seem funny, it will piss off players. And here comes a random board. Random Horde has been killed by these stupid bots, but the bots are being killed by other shit because they're stupid. Yes, die bots, die, especially you, coach. Cheeseburgers are mine. Anyway, so, nav save. Since we changed the nav squares, every time you change the nav squares, make sure you do nav save. Let's kill ourselves real quick to see if we can get a tanker or witch to spawn using those threat squares, and kablam! Oh, that's a ladder. And kablam! We are now dead. I don't know how the bots died, they're just stupid. So, we have died, we have respawned, we're going through the level again, director is still enabled. And it doesn't look like a tank or a witch has spawned, however, these are now valid spawn places for them, because they have mark threat. So, we do mark threat again. For some reason they're no longer mark threat, the director is all like, hey, 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 I don't want you to make that a threatening place. Let's try to nav analyze. Sometimes the director will freak out and be all like, eh, I don't want to mark there. I want to mark here. Or mark somewhere else. In which case, you just need to play with it until you get it to do what you want. The nav process is very glitchy at best, and it, it breaks quite frequently. It can crash. It can do other weird shit that you don't want it to do. It's just a matter of playing with it the right way. Looks like there's still no tank or witch, it would be designated by a different thing. Um, but yeah, that's the basics. If the level was big enough, it would spawn a tank or a witch, but it's not big enough. Chances are if we were to wait it out at some point or to get the director mad enough, it actually would spawn a tank or a witch, but we don't have the time for that in the video. That covers Nav. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And here comes the Charger Palooza to mess up my day. Charger, don't you fucking dare. You did. Anyway, have a good one.